Hello, hello, hello. I am Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next review. Today I'm looking at Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Waspinator. And this is a pretty cool figure. Um there I know a lot of people are preferring the um Thrilling 30 version of Waspinator. Uh, and that one is is a really good one. I love that one. I actually have that on a different shelf with uh, my original Beast Wars. This one, actually, uh, I really like too. I think it works. It looks good. Um, does everything like close to what the Thrilling 30, you know, does in terms of looks. Uh, but yeah it's it's different and i like it um and i i kind of like having the two versions of the Wa of waspinator and i do the voice but i'm not very good at it <laughs> but let's take a look at his packaging so our usual kingdom packaging waspinator on the front got his uh beast mode wasp mode uh is he a wasp? See, there's there's debate on what he actually is. So, but I think he's definitely a wasp. Hence, waspinator. But there's his robot mode. Again, very cool. Deluxe class. Kingdom, War for Cybertron trilogy. Transformers on the side. On this side, our wonderful Kingdom artwork. On the top, we got our Predacon symbol, War for Cybertron Trilogy. On the bottom, barcode and a bunch of different words. And on the back, our product shots with warning in multiple languages and more words. And that's it for his packaging. So now, let's take a look at Waspinator. And I know these come with the card slash sticker. Um, I don't really show which one came from it because I tend to forget, but I, I think with this one, I got the final Optimus Prime I needed because I know you get three of each. And then with, uh, Shadow Panther, I think I got Unicron, one of the, so the fir my first Unicron, so, but yeah, let's take a look. At Waspinator in his beast mode. And really cool that we got translucent purple. And it's also got this um, molding to make it look like the um, millions of eyes that they have. So again, very cool really liking that and here we can see we've got nice green paint we got brown plastic for the antenna the mandibles do open and close they open only about that much and then they close that far brown plastic for his insect legs translucent purple on the wings and again more molding giving us that incredible detail really looks good loving that again this beautiful green paint looking really good then our yellow and black for the tail end and little tiny stinger right there <laughs> And then here's the bottom, which of course you can see the legs. I mean, that's the only downside, but it works. I mean, we're not going to get perfect with Waspinator. Honestly, if, if uh, they do a masterpiece of him, there, it's going to be hard to get uh, that perfect. You know, we're going to have something sticking out for him. Hopefully, we, we'll see one. Um, but I haven't heard on any new oh, 
Masterpiece Beast Wars from Takara for a while, so but let's get back to Waspinator. <laughs> now articulation wings are on ball joints, so we get all different kinds of movements with that. Um, this leg is on its own joint, and then these two are on a joint together or on a uh, mushroom peg together. So we can get so much movement. And then the uh, antenna are on a ball joint, or, or no, not a ball joint, they're, they're on a swivel it looks like, so we can move them anywhere we want, and yeah, looks good, I like it, I do, I, I love my Thrilling 30, but I like this one too, this one definitely works with my, um, on my kingdom shelf and like personally the thrilling 30 like i said i have it with my original beast wars and i think it fits in with them same thing with my thrilling 30 rhinox and rat trap i have them with uh my original beast wars and i think they fit i think they work that way but that's me personally with this if you're happy with the thrilling 30 and feel like you can skip on this cool you know, that's the nice thing about our collections or our own personal collections but let's get into transformation so first thing we want to do is want to untab these and there's actually right here tabs and they're gonna they these plug into those tabs right there when in beast mode but we'll unplug those and then this can rotate. We're going to move the wings up a little bit. Then extend this out. Untab the feet from uh, tabbing together. And then we want to <sighs> there we go. Untab this piece and this you can see is going to tab in right there now what we want to do is rotate here bring the toes forward bring the heels back bring forward and heels back we'll just leave it like that for the moment Another thing we can do is right here we can push on that post and that will push out the weapon enough to be able to get it out the rest of the way and we'll set that off to the side. Next thing we want to do is we want to untab the arms and there's actually, you can see right here, little piece right there that just tabs in right there or I'm sorry nope yeah I think that was it wasn't that it yeah that was that was or no 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 so it's these these pieces these little tiny posts plug in right there so yeah so yeah plug in like that want to disconnect when we're going to robot mode apologize about that I've he's been on my shelf for a bit <laughs> we'll rotate them out just like that We'll open up these pe this piece, this piece. Then we want to bring this forward, bring the arms forward, and then rotate, push this back, and it's going to actually. You can see these little tabs right here. One here, 
one right there they're gonna plug in into those slots back in there there we go now bring this up and this is actually going to tab in so this tab plugs in right there and it's not the tightest but can always do something to thicken it up and then we're gonna bring this down open it back up again <laughs> rotate the arms and then rotate the hands and this is taking a little longer than it really should then we can also rotate these back so they're kind of out of the way and that's waspinator pretty much done some I am having issues though like I wish the like when you open it I wish it would lock like that's the only issue that I honestly have is that it doesn't doesn't have a locking point like I wish it had that or maybe there is and I just haven't pulled it out far enough No, there isn't. All right. Yeah, there isn't. So that's my my main issue is like there isn't a locking point for this. I really wish there was. got but I think we got everything let's, let's get him in a nice standing position yeah so there are some issues that I have with this figure I may take like uh, something to thicken that up so it just stays like I just don't understand why there was no locking point oh well the, I also didn't have it far enough back so. <laughs> and this is the other issue I have this tab like does it's Yeah, it is not tight enough. Okay. Now we got it. So <laughs> I do like this figure, but it is not without issues. But there's Waspinator in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good. Um, the insect arms we're never going to get that uh in a way where it's not an issue and that's the that's an unfortunate thing but we can do what we can with them i mean that's even an issue with thrilling 30 um you know, there's there's only so much you, you can do with the insect arms and I'm pushing the camera out of the way but yeah it's not that bad of a figure besides some of the loose stuff um, I know the thrilling 30 definitely had much tighter joints much tighter connections um, also it could just be my copy that has that issue but let's take a look at waspinator close-up and i love this head sculpt it looks great it's definitely waspinator and 
please don't ask me to do the voice. <laughs> I am so horrible at his voice. But nice translucent purple for the eyes and giving us that wonderful texture for like, you know, the the thousands of eyes or million however many eyes like they have or that the bug has. Um what gray we can see green, there's some brown in there, some yellow in there. Um, then the yellow and black for this antenna and the nice yellow diamond. It definitely like looks like it almost jumps right off, jumped right off the screen with that. That head looks great. Uh, chest again, very nice. Um, can't believe I had slight mistransformation by not having it <laughs> pushed back far enough, but we got that straightened out now <laughs> nice yellow and green on the arms definitely matching what we saw on the screen in with beast wars uh, again the wings you know you can position them wherever you like uh, you can see nice yellow and black for the thighs yellow and green on the legs looks very nice then the stinger you know it, the way they work that it works i like that it definitely works uh, articulation head is on a ball joint we get lots of wiggle can turn all the way around can look up mm, that far down that far arms can come up this far yeah can do full rotation we have bicep swivel we have 90 for the elbow and the hands are do give us wrist rotation so that's nice we do have um, sort of limited on the waist but there is a waist there legs whoops <laughs> can kick forward nice high kick can kick back that far of course you're moving it out of the way here uh can we get the full van dam we can get the full van dam knees we've got around 90 and you can also kick it forward <laughs> uh we do have thigh rotation right there i almost forgot to mention that and feet can move back and forth and we have that much ankle pivot so pretty decent on his articulation so not too bad not too bad at all definitely works and then of course he can hold his weapon plug the post in right there and there he is holding his weapon and now I got to get him straightened out <laughs> come on waspinator work with me here like I said it's it's got its issues I mean there's some things that I really do wish were better So, like I said, locking points for, for these would have been nice. Uh, tighter uh, lock or tab for this piece, you know. But it is what it is and what we're dealing with, unfortunately. Um, so, I'd kind of hoping eventually Takara gives us a wonderful masterpiece uh waspinator would really love to see that um we need we need some more predacons we gotten a lot of our, our uh, maximals and then one predacon turned maximal <laughs> getting him to stand up straight all right all right there we go. Nope. Nope. 
Come on, Wasp Nader, work with me. What are you doing here? All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry this turned into a long one. You could see some of the issues I was having. Hopefully, if you get one, your copy has uh, a little bit tighter joints, uh, everything tabs together tighter. Um, you know, it just might be my copy. I may take uh, either some uh, Kiki's, uh, which I do need to pick some more up, or I do have um, my floor polish that I use, my trusty floor polish. So, you know, a little bit of that. Tighten up them joints a bit. Tighten up, uh, you know, add a little extra uh, on them tabs to uh, help tighten all that up. But, yeah. Otherwise, you know, it's a good figure. I do like it, personally. That's my opinion. Um, could, do you? Should you pick this up? Honestly, if you're happy with the Thrilling 30 Waspinator in your Kingdom collection, perfect. I don't see any reason to pick this up. Um, if you don't have that and do want a Waspinator, I definitely would grab it. I mean, for one thing, he's he's a favorite character of a lot of people, including myself. I mean, he was uh, always getting blown up, always uh, having pieces taken off of him, <laughs> always uh, being the butt end of a joke. <laughs> But uh, it is a good figure um, for what it is. Uh, it could have could do with being better, of course. And that's a lot of figures. That's almost every figure, honestly. There's always something with a figure that needs improvement. This needs a couple of things for improvement, like I said. For one thing, uh, well, like I've already mentioned, these, the dab... Honestly, that's the main thing for me. Everything else, I like it. it. It works. So if you don't have the Thrilling 30 and are looking for a Waspinator with your kingdom, definitely grab it. If you have Thrilling 30, don't feel like you need this one, you're all good. Or if you're like me, you know, you got the Thrilling 30, but you want another Waspinator, you want you know, them to be kind of separate like I do, grab it <laughs> so that's really all i have to say well that is it for me thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you all later